Senator Mac McSherry. Thanks very much, uh, Chairman, and thanks, Dr. Bacon, for taking the time to be with us today. Uh, just on some of the things that you've said there already, um, uh, just to do with the central bank, you, you said just earlier in your testimony that it was, quote, unclear what legal force the central bank can apply to determine what mortgage lending should be. Can you expand a little bit on that, if you would, and just say, uh, do you feel that um, uh, the central bank had any power at the time to determine how banks acted, or what's your sense of that? Uh, my sense is that the, uh, it was unclear, as I said. Okay, that's very clear. Um, you uh, described the financial crisis in Ireland as, quote, uh, not hit by a sudden shock in the May to late 2008, and that no one could have foreseen, as it was an often contended, and, quote, the fact is that the stock markets could see what was coming in. Well, Sorry, Stair Centre, is your opening statement? Uh, it is, yeah. It's actually, no, it's the uh, a contribution to the debate on national economic recovery. So it's one of his own publications. So uh, why would you think that everybody, bar Morgan Kelly, David McWilliams, uh, didn't get it, didn't read the stock market? So that's to say the Irish government, the IMF, the EU Commission, the Central Bank, the regulator, the ESRI. Don't know. Okay. Would you have seen it yourself? Well, I mean, I, I indicated in these, in these reports in, in, 20, in 1999 and 2000 that the speculative force gathering behind um, uh, the demand for residential property was, was growing and posed a, a threat. Um, I think the subsequent developments uh, in the market and in the policy response reinforced that. Uh, in terms of uh, your testimony today, you've uh, clearly indicated your belief in, 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 in the correct nature of the establishment of NAMA. Um, you have suggested uh, that uh, short-term debt recovery versus the realisation of the long-term value um, to the taxpayer may be uh, debated. Can I ask, do you feel if more capital were available to NAMA for workouts rather than disposal, uh, on the one hand, uh, could have led to a longer term result or a better result for the taxpayer. That's part one. Part two, do you feel that the uh, accelerated, um, uh, I suppose, um, uh, wind down, for want of a better expression, of NAMA is in the best interest of the taxpayer? Uh, and thirdly, uh, which is linked to the other two, uh, should disposals and workouts, should, have, uh, should they have been staggered, focusing on um, uh, again, a, ber a, a better return to the taxpayer than it has. Has it been optimum heretofore? Just those. I suppose, look, the short answer is, uh, has it been optimal? I, I think other things being equal, um, it, it would have, it, it, it's not optimal um, that you know, realisations have been accelerated to a greater degree. But to be fair, you know, what I, I, I was careful to say other things being equal. They weren't. Um, you, know, you, you went to the bailout program, and the bailout program contained uh, the requirement to accelerate the um, to accelerate disposals. Um, you know, Ireland needed that bailout program. So, you know, what was best for the taxpayer? You can't. You, you, you know, it would have been a bad decision to say, well, look, we're not going to go for this bailout programme because there's this requirement in it and we need to work out NAMA for longer. So, you know, uh, um, other things being equal, I think, you know, t t the difference between a good investment and a bad investment is often time. For two minutes, Senator. Um, in the contribution to the debate on national recovery, the same document, uh, you talk about the potential for NAMA to be, an to be part privatised into an international yes. private equity investor. Would, would you still have that view? Would you yes, and I think it's happening, but probably in a different way. I mentioned to you that uh, you had the, um, the emergence, the welcome emergence, I said, of residential um, real estate investment, quoted real estate investment trusts. And in effect, that is, is resulting in a privatisation of uh, NAMA assets. Um, in your report, again, a contribution to the debate on national recovery, you talked about how cautious the EU response was to the crisis here. Uh, did the EU response benefit the Irish taxpayer or hinder it in terms of how things have been? Well, it benefited in the sense that um, uh, you know, without the support 
of the, U of the ECB. Um, that liquidity issue facing the banking um, uh, sector in Ireland would have led us to look an awful lot more like some other European countries do at the moment. Center. The uh, Irish response to the crisis, uh, with the benefit of hindsight and your expertise as an economist, can you give us a sense of your view of that, just to find the Whose response? The, 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 the Irish government, the, 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 the response here in Ireland to the crisis, with the benefit of hindsight and with your expertise as an economist. I think with, with, What's with, your assessment? with, with you know, it's, it's easy to be critical, um, you know, um, and you guys have party political agendas as well as other agendas in this room, um, it, but, and, and point taken. And, you know, you would, I would say this, if you didn't have the response of the Irish government, the Irish economy would look an awful lot more today like one other European uh, economy that I can think of. Thanks very much. Thank you.